Hey, welcome to this tutorial. Hey everybody, I'll be here. Today we're going to do mount movement animation for brick films and hit film express for free. Mount movement is great certain times because it can make your brick films feel more realistic and lifelike. It's also great for times when you want less body gestures like in a still suspenseful scene. Alright, now let's get started. Open up HitFilm and go to the project settings. I've set the video dimensions to 1920x1080 and frame rate to 15fps because I animate at 15fps. I've also created my own template for these settings so I don't have to reset the default settings every time. Go to edit and start by importing your pictures. Go to Import and select Image Sequence. Select the folder which contains your images you need, and it will import all the images as a unit which will play at 15 FPS. Right click it and make Composite Shot. All my images were pretty high resolution, so I'm going to have to resize this quickly. Now create a new point layer and name it Mouth Position. We're going to track the minifigure's mouth position so that you don't have to manually reposition your mouth animation at every single frame later on. Next we'll apply all our tracking data to the mouth position point to be used later. Open your footage on the timeline and insert a tracker. As you can see we've automatically switched to the layer tab where you do your motion tracking. Drag the red feature box onto the mouth since that's the feature we're going to be tracking. Match it to the size of the mouth. Move the tracking point to sit exactly over the center of the mouth. Next I'm going to make the green search box a little bigger. And now it's time to start tracking. If you want to know more about motion tracking, there are a couple of tutorials on it in the HitFilm YouTube channel. Check it out. Links are in the description below. Press the track forward button and let it track through your footage. If the tracking pauses halfway through, then just press the track forward button again and it'll continue tracking. If the feature you're tracking moves around way too much in your clip, you may have to manually position the tracker in some frames. Once the tracking is complete, go to step 2 in the track panel and select the mouth position point for the layer and hit apply. Now as you can see, all our tracking data has been assigned to the mouth position point. Now that our motion tracking is done, we can start on the mouth animation. Switch back to the viewer tab and go to new layer and create a new plane. Make it a little lighter than black and name it mouth. Make sure it's selected on the timeline and then select the freehand mask tool in the viewer panel and make four points. Then click the first point again to close the mask shape. Right click the top right point and select Make Unlocked Curve. Do the same for the bottom left point. By doing this we have much more freedom with how the mask moves as opposed to a mask without curves. Now position the mask to sit right over the minifigure's mouth. If you noticed, the hard edges of the mask make it look unrealistic, so let's feather out the mask edges a bit and make it blend in better. Set the feather strength and the shape controls to about 2.5. If I play through this clip now, you can see that the mask doesn't move along with the minifig's mouth. We want it to perfectly follow the mouth of the minifig, so what we have to do now is go to the mouth plane and parent it to the mouth position point. And there you go. The mask moves along perfectly with the minifig's mouth. Now all you have to do is animate the mouth movement itself. So go grab your voice recording. It's best to have your voice recorded before you start animating, so when you animate, you can match your animation more precisely to it. There's this really good tutorial on YouTube by Fancy Pants about dialogue animation. If you're a brick filmer and you haven't watched that, Definitely go watch it. I've left a link in the description below. 
I've already got my voice recording here, so I'm just going to drop it here and position it properly on the timeline so it matches the animation. There. Before you start animating the mouth movement, try repeating what your minifig is supposed to be saying a couple of times and observe how your own mouth moves. You want to sort of mimic real life mouth movement in your animation. Let's animate the first word of our monologue, which in my case is hey. It's just a simple open and close of the mouth. Open up the mask in the mouth plane and go to the transform controls and enable keyframing for the path property by clicking the gray circle. You'll see a keyframe has been created on the timeline. Move the playhead to the frame where the sound wave is at its peak. Make the mount bigger, which will create another keyframe on the timeline for the path property. It'll automatically animate the frames between one keyframe and the next, which makes it much easier for you. Go to the end of the sound wave and make the mount smaller again. You can keyframe the opacity of the mask in the same way, if you don't want it to be visible in certain frames. Repeat this process through the whole clip, and if you want good results, remember to carefully observe your own mouth movement in real life. Hey, welcome to this tutorial! And that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, put them in the comments below, and check out the other videos on my channel, and subscribe if you like.